Just to let you know I'm live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just giving you the warning that I'm live. <laughs> oh, you are now? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. I thought, oh, I should probably tell him. Yeah. Oh, I did remember. I needed to get something. Man, that gem picker is really sweet. Mm. Hey, did you know you're two people? Say what? You, you know you're missing a half moon? It must have fallen. Oh, I've looked everywhere. That's right. Oh, no, that's not it. Yeah. No, you had the paper. Okay. Well, pull out the one that I'm missing. Hey, everybody. If you're here, say hello. Um, <clears throat> if you're, pull, just set the one you're missing aside. Like, I'd rather do this straight and do this this way. Oops, wrong way. Get straightened out here. Here we go. That's better. Okay. Hello, hello. Found it. Oh, you did find it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I counted right. Yeah, it was buried. Jesus. Welcome, everybody. We're going to create this um, fun gift card holder. Oh, do I need the other? I don't. I'm not really sure about that. If you're here, say hello. I'll get. I will get rolling. <laughs> you're here. I know that. Mm -hmm. You have to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, for sure. Well, that's perfect. No. No, you're pretty good on your own. <laughs> Who paid you to say that? I'm on commission. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Let's see, it says I'm connected to Facebook. I'm recording, but nobody's here. Okay. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and start. I am going to, I'll just kind of walk you through what inspired me to create tonight's project. <clears throat> I know, I, I counted you for two a sheet, yeah. So I created this cute little um, gift card holder, a mitten, and we are currently doing a Polar Express, which is kind of like a shop hop, and so we are featuring the Dare to Be Artsy papers. And I, this is one of the Dare to Be Artsy uh, papers that I chose to use for this project. And this card, or this little gift card, mitten gift card holder, um, inspired me tonight to create something kind of matching with it. So I thought, oh, how cute would it be to create a little beanie, a little hat along the same colors. I just love these um, nice, cool um, colors for Christmas. It's just so pretty soft and very nice. So I am going to take this, I'm going to start with the sentiment because I've already got all my pieces cut and I'll just kind of walk you through the pieces that I cut. Those are all ready to go. But the, really the only thing I have left to do is um, place a sentiment on it. So I have the basic banners Christmas um, stamp set and these, are, it's a one piece stamp set and so this is great for Christmas, you guys. If you are looking to get a bunch of sentiments knocked out all at once, this is your stamp set. And there's one 
die and they have a different set of, uh, they have birthdays stamps that also work with the same dies, which I just think is genius. So we're working with the Christmas ones here. Same dies, cut them out. So that's what we're gonna do tonight, is we're gonna just um, make up some really, we're just gonna make up a bunch of sentiments. And I am going to emboss, heat emboss. Bring it. Yep, I did. I think I have everything, so I'm gonna kinda get my powder here so we don't have a lot of stray embossing powder. We're gonna get rid of much, as much static as we can. So, um, there we go. Here we are. All right. And now we're going to take our Versamark ink. Hi, Linda. Yay. Long time no see. <laughs> you were just here. Sorry for my froggy voice, guys. I actually lost it completely last week. It was Friday. Actually, it was, was it, no, Saturday. Was it Friday? It was Thursday night I started to lose it, and Friday it was completely gone. And I didn't really get it back until probably day before yesterday, was it? Yeah. So, who knows? <laughs> So I am just going to go ahead and um, and I'm going to ink this up again just so I can make sure that it's got some good coverage and plenty of, um, so here we go. And we're going to get a lot of sentiments from this set. It's These are nice fonts. I like how you get the variety. You also get the variety in the banners as well. This is a very well thought through um process that Pink Fresh went through to do this. I'm real, oh, my season's greeting is going to be ruined and I'm not really sure why. Oh, because I have something on it, folks. There's actually a piece of plastic on it. Boo. Oh well, that's okay. I'm going to do this one more time. I need to ink up my ink pad. You can just see it. Okay. I think that's good. So now I'm going to take this and I don't want those to touch. I'm just gonna do this right here. And I'm gonna get my... embossing powder. And I am using the Wow Super Bright, or Opaque Bright White. use my whole jar. <laughs> Anybody else here? Just Linda? Whoops, I just made the biggest mess. Well, boo. not get that powder on there very good. I didn't feel like I was. Just didn't feel like I had much. Come on. I to be sure to get that powder on there really good. I know, right? So I'm just looking at it. I have it all over my hands. The season's greetings when I'm not really worried about. Oops, I think I just messed up warm wishes, which is one of them that I really want. but they have their water the water barrel ones and I don't want to dump water on my project oh what to do what to do I may just live with it folks that's what I might just do is live with it I think I knocked off a bunch of it okay now we're gonna heat this up Get my 
most of it? I think I did. I think I got most of it everywhere else <laughs> besides where it's supposed to be. Such is life. Okay. There we are. I put the powder away, right? Here we go. So I'm going to get my heat tool good and hot. I feel like I could just... Oh, well. I keep telling myself, don't be a perfectionist. I might use that tidings of comfort and joy. Season's greetings is all messed up because I had a piece. So what you want to make sure, I'll tell you after I shut this off. You want to make sure you get your page um, covered with that powder so you don't get the extra speckles, but I didn't really have the extra speckles as much as I thought I did, so I probably shouldn't have pushed as much off as I did. Okay, so now we're going to take this die, and we're going to roll it through, and just line it up and roll it through. Let's give it a good look, making sure... I think I have it. So I have my I'm not die cutting machine here. Come on. Destroy my life going on here. Right. Oops, I moved it. I was trying to hold it in place because I had it just right. Okay, now I think I still have it. reaching. All the die cut machines going. The handles on the die cut machines go round and round. <laughs> I just got the you're a weirdo look right across the table. So, John, I do believe you've sung weirder. I don't want to. I don't want to comment on. So look at all these little fun, festive um, die cuts that you get. And I just dropped one, but I, it's not one I'm going to use, so I'll just pick it up later and get it. Okay. So Merry Christmas. Warm wishes, which was one I was thinking about actually using. Um, deck the halls wishing you a sparkling holiday that's cute and then the other one I was thinking about was glad tidings of comfort and joy I do kind of like that 
So maybe I will use, I kind of wanted to use a Happy Holidays right there. So I was gonna put one on here, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not. Maybe down here. I, I know I'm gonna pick one of these and put it on here somehow, some way. It would be really cute to put that up there. Anyway, so, um, yeah. This is cute, Christmas Hugs and Love. That's really cute. I could go down here too. All right, I may or may not, but we'll see. So what I've done today, I'll show you the bits and pieces. I'll stop making you chomp at the bit. I have taken, <clears throat> these are the nesting landscape arches. And I have taken the second largest die here in this set. And I have die cut this piece right here. I'm back. I had a few technical difficulties after that. So thanks for being patient. I'm here. Let's finish this project. I'm going to try to um, put the two together and make it into one video. So sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, I did not, I failed to tell you what color cardstock that was that I cut from. It was Tide Pool from Concord Ninth. And it looks really, really nice <clears throat> with the um, pattern paper that we're going to use here, which is the Knit Picky Winter Collection by Lawn Fun. So that is that. Ooh, I don't know what I just did. So, yes. Okay, so let's run back through this. <clears throat> this die is the Nesting Landscape Arches die set. And I used the second largest die from this set. Um, then, let's see. I have some white cardstock here. Um, I did corner round these edges here on each edge because I took a piece of this cardstock, and I believe it's five inches by one and three eighths. Yes. So this measures to be five inches, yep, by one and three eighths. Yep, that's correct. Okay, <clears throat> if you're here, say hello, I am back. So what we're gonna do is take this piece and I corner rounded all the edges on this. So I corner rounded them first and then I ran them through and embossed the embossing folder here. This is the cable knit embossing folder. I thought it'd really be cute to pick up all those, the, the knit in this paper, this uh, pattern paper here as well. So here's what we're gonna do. I cut a circle here, a circle die, and I cut it from the largest of these stitched dies. That's These are the circle frames dies from uh, Newton's Nook. So I cut that out. I also cut out two snow, these two snowflakes here. And I cut them out of some shimmering cardstock, these two. These are the ones I cut. And I cut them out from <clears throat> some Echo Park shimmer, white shimmery cardstock. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see that shimmer and shine, but it shimmers and shines. And I've already lost one of my snowflakes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've lost a snowflake already. Seriously. Oh, he's on the floor. Okay. Went in doubt on the floor. Hi, Linda. <laughs> She's back. Yay. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're just going to glue this around these edges just right here. And um, we're going to get this thing rolling and rolling and going here. So, of course, I picked up the wrong one. One of these is clean. Cleaned it out yesterday. And now they're both plugged up. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go. Oh, Jeannie's here. Hi, Jeannie. Are you trying to be incognito? I 
I am going to bring this out to the edge just a little bit more. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I am going to bring it around just a little bit so we can capture that. Hello, hello. So now I'm going to glue this to the edge just like that. Get it to line up real nice. And I'll show, I did cut my, um, I actually cut that little piece of white cardstock that I slid inside that, um, oh, Brady, I'm sliding it too much now. Um, I cut it out <clears throat> to, to measure the exact size of the gift card. So we'll check it out here in just a second. We'll see how well that fits. But in the meantime, we're gonna put this little circle on top. I will, um, if I can remember, I'll post the name of the person. I got this off a uh, Facebook. I saw, or not Facebook, I saw this on um, YouTube. Somebody did this on YouTube. And they actually, instead of a gift card holder, they made it into a card, a full-size card. And I thought, oh, that'd be a cute gift card holder. So I am using the idea for gift card holder. And it's awesome, cute on the back too. So uh, you could do a to and from on a piece of white card stock. I am gonna make sure that I get that on there. No glue right there. There we go. Move that over. Here we go. So, um, yeah, she had just done some embossing for the whole thing, and I thought this paper would be really cute to use instead. Oh, you're not late to the party. I got kicked off Facebook, and I'm back on for my second round. So, you're not late to the party. <laughs> you're getting here just in time. So, um, I know normally we layer the small on top of the large, but I just like this snowflake so much that I'm just going to use this one as a background and kind of like a filler in the background instead. So um, we're almost done with this project, folks. It's super easy and super fun and cute. So I'm just gonna glue this to this. Just like so. because I really like that snowflake. So pretty. Super cute. And we could even add gems. I might even add a gem to the center of this little snowflake. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I have some snowflake sequins, and I'm, I think I'll put a snowflake in the center of that. It's in the other room, but I'll, I'll add that later. And I'll make sure I post all the products that I used um, when I get a chance. <laughs> so. Now, let's see, warm wishes. Warm wishes. That's really cute. You could kind of even let that come off the edge there. Warm wishes or glad tidings of comfort and joy. And I feel like if I did that, it needs to kind of go in the center here. Which one do you like? This one or the one that goes off the edge a little? Do you like warm wishes or tight comfort and joy? I kinda, I'm not gonna tell you which one I like. You tell me what you like. We'll plop it up on some. So we should be dry, so I'm gonna try this out. So Jeannie, I am just kind of creating like a little match to my um, little mitten here. I thought a little beanie hat would be super cute. So which one do you like? Do you like comfort and joy or warm wishes? Warm wishes. Warm wishes. Okay, warm wishes it is. I, I, you know what, guys? I actually agree with you. <laughs> I do like the warm wishes. I think it's, it. I like the sentiment. I like the way that it's going to look coming off the edge there. I just think that's super cute. Kind of like 
just slightly off the edge. Not too much, but just a little. I like it. Perfect. Good, good choice. Yay. Oops, we don't want to come off there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I gotta get some of this off of here. I think it's gonna come off the edge. There we go. Not much, just a little. Super cute. Oh, guys, I love it so much. Is Sandra here? Hello, Sandra. Thank you for telling me who's here, <laughs> and I appreciate it. So there we go. We have kind of like a matching um, hat and mittens, or mitten actually. And the um, so we're gonna we're just gonna check out this little gift card to see how it looks setting inside of here, just like so. How cute is that? So you could set your little gift card right here inside of there. So that is so fun, so so fun. Yay! Yay, I love it. Okay, that is really it, you guys. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna pick one of these to go on, to slide off of here. I think I like this Christmas Hugs and Love. And I think I am gonna put that on this little, this one right here, maybe. I don't know, maybe Merry Christmas down here. Merry Christmas could go down here. Couldn't it? It could go right there or up just a little. Thank you, guys. What do you think? Hi, Sandra. Yay. <laughs> well, I had to come go and I had to go and I came back. Oh, this one's cute, too. I put that down there. What do you think? Should we? Um, oh, thank you. You can catch the replay. Um, what do you guys think? Sentiment, no sentiment on the mitten. I am almost inclined to say no sentiment. If I do a sentiment, should it go up here at the top like that? that I kind of like that. I just don't, I think the mitten is just so cute as it is. I don't really want to mess with it or interfere with it too much, but I don't want to cover up too much of that little edge there, so. It could even go on the back. It could definitely go on the back. I don't even know that it really needs a sentiment. Maybe on the cuff. Do you think it even needs a sentiment? I don't even think it needs a sentiment. Sometimes things just really don't. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't. Just... I don't know. I think no sentiment too. I kind of with you. Yes, it is. I here, it's a gift card holder just like this. I made it. I uh, cut the back and uh, put some cardstock on it. And yeah, it goes right down in here as a gift card holder. It sure is. Yes. Um, if you're doing the shop hop, Sandra. Um, the, these papers are Dare to Be Artsy papers as part of my inspiration from um, Dare to Be Artsy. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Awesome. Yay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me <laughs> as short it is, as it is. I appreciate it. I'm gonna try to merge the two videos if I can. We'll see how that goes. Um, if so, a dangling one, great to know. Um, yes, you know, that's not a bad idea. When you say dangling, I was just thinking, it's not a bad idea. You could almost do something like, like that, tuck it underneath here, 
like, like Christmas. Yeah. So I'll have to kind of revisit that. Yeah, I'll look at that and see how that works, if it does. It may or may not. Wishing you a sparkling holiday. Yeah, I don't know if it will, but that's cute. You're my last stop, so see you soon. Well, looking forward to seeing you. All right. Yay. All right, guys. You take care and have a great evening. And thanks for joining me. See you here. Bye-bye.